<laughs> yeah. A life-changing giveaway or a criminal act. Elon Musk has jumped into the final weeks of the US election effort, starting a political campaign group with a petition backing free speech and gun rights. The businessman has been giving away a daily prize of one million US dollars to people who sign his petition. But those who sign also have to be registered voters in one of seven so-called swing states that may decide the US election. Definitely hound friends, family, acquaintances, people on the street, everyone you meet, uh, to say, to just, just to register. It, we've got to register. I think it's something that law enforcement could take a look at. I'm not okay. the attorney general anymore of Pennsylvania, I'm the governor, uh, but it does raise some serious questions. People who are found to have induced others to register to vote with cash or lottery chances could face up to five years prison under US law. Mr. Musk says people who have signed a petition do not have to vote. You just have to sign a petition saying you believe in the Constitution, which if you already believe in the Constitution, you're just signing something you already believe and you can win a million dollars. That's awesome. Your wealth and responsibility you are using to save speech and we just all appreciate it. We really do. So thank you so much. I do. Bye. Mr. Musk hasn't been alone in trying to get out the vote in Pennsylvania in new and unusual ways. State officials using Thai hippo Mu Deng to spruik postal votes. And Donald Trump has made a campaign stop at a McDonald's, claiming he had always wanted to work there, while casting doubt on Kamala Harris's stories of serving burgers as a student. Now I have worked at McDonald's. I've now worked for 15 minutes more than Kamala. OK, she, she never worked here. Meanwhile, the Democrats were working to court communities of faith, speaking to congregations in the swing states of Georgia and Michigan. It's wonderful. I, live, I feel blessed. I feel blessed. This parable, the parable of the Good Samaritan, teaches us to love thy neighbour as thyself. Last month, the Pew Research Centre found Catholic and Protestant voters favour Donald Trump and he's been closing the gap in an average of national polls, with numbers the Harris campaign may not have been loving. Lachlan Patrick, ABC News.